Hello, hello everybody. Just pulling everything up and getting ready. So I hope you've had a good day or night. Let's make sure the volume is down. So we're going to have a see if um, something I haven't done before use interference colors in an acrylic pour so that will be interesting I, I do believe other people use it so I can't see why it wouldn't work out um, it's just a matter of can I do it <laughs> so I've got you at a different angle so I thought I'd try this. Um, this way we're both looking at it from the same view. Um, yeah, I'll just get my gloves on. So, right. so I've chosen, I know that interference colors look great against darker colors. So that's why I've chosen my mixed dark purple. Uh, hooker's green dark and black and then the interference colors are violet blue and green so I thought they'll be nice for them to pop out of so while everyone's coming in <clears throat> we will do this so very carefully we'll open up the interference colors and put a little bit in the bottom of the cup now I can't find all my stir sticks So I think two scoops is what we'll try. Um, lid straight back on. There we go. So this is the blue. Um, so here's another stick. This is the violet. So once again, just two scoops into the, hello, hello. Um, two. Now the thing with these is they give that an extra shimmer, but they also give that Two kind of shimmers depending on what it's next to. A bit of a loss for words as how to describe it, but so far from what I've seen, it looks pretty amazing. So let's create amazing tonight. One and two. Lid straight back on. So that's the green. That last one was the green. And let's turn around to my cupboard. Get some sticks. Okay. Time to break out some fresh ones. We will use the dun, 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 
Um, pouring medium, the Montmartre acrylic pouring medium for this one. So we'll just drop a little bit into the container. I think that looks about even. I'll just start mixing with these sticks. So the reason I wanted to put the powder in first was so that they weren't getting plumes of powder dust into the air. I just try and stir it in. Hopefully the pouring medium is enough to break down that powder. So, so they are powdered pigments. That looks good. I'm sure with it sitting there, like when you mix paints, it will, you know, blend in and meld in a little bit, a little bit more. As we go, try and cover all that powder. So I can already see the difference between when I hold my glove to the cup. Let's see if that works for you. I tilt that. And then, no? Okay, sorry. To me, whether I'm stirring it on the sides shows this beautiful violet and then the rest of it just looks kind of white, pearly. So, uh, take my black gloves away and it just looks pearly. So, let's push this one under the surface and do the same. So it does look a little bit lumpy as you start to stir, but as it blends in, it's beautiful. I do the same thing with it as I do with the other paints, pushing it up against the wall of the cup as I'm mixing and stirring to help crush and dissolve, work in any of those pigments or paints, whichever I'm using. So now with my gloves I can see the beautiful shade of blue and yet here you don't. So that is trippy. I think this is going to be amazing. So I'll pop them over to the side. Leave them handy just in case I want a full size stick. Um, can you see that blue? That's the blue one. Though. Pretty. I try not to get that everywhere now. <laughs> All right. So let's see, let's go something completely different. Amma, good morning. How are you? Can you please let me know, are we saying your name correctly? So we'll start with some purple down. I think we might do, um, we'll do a puddle pour. Mm. 
Thinking, thinking. Either way, I want purple on the bottom. Sure, we'll stick with the puddle pour. And then I'll tilt it around and then I'm going to swipe. So, just, um, I'm not using any silica again, silicon with this. Um, we'll just see how it goes without silicon. Um, so let's grab the violet. Only got a little bit, so now we'll go with the green. You're good, thanks. That I'm pleased to hear it. I am oh, well, not feeling very strong at the moment. Must have had my wheat mix for breakfast. Oh, I did. There we go. We got it. Yeah, had a busy day, so now chilling out and trying something new. So that's fantastic. Thank you. Let's add the green if it comes out. There we go. So because I want to cover the whole surface of the canvas with the puddles, I'm going to push that interference out using the green. And then now we will actually use the green on it. Looks like the right one. Now I'll add some black. So that black straight into the center and let it push them out drip I don't want it to cover I want it to go in and push them out right up catch the drip Just stick a stick under this end. See if that helps. So I think for the rest of it we might just fill in some of these corners and see how it goes because even after we tilt for the puddle pour I'd like to have a little bit of an extra play with it by way of swiping hello Mandy nice to see you thanks for coming so we're just going to move it around a little bit now oh no we've got to add the other one the blue because that was to go on top of the black so i'm trying out some interference colors with an acrylic pour so fingers crossed 
with what I'm trying it will work because by the looks of it because I only mix the interference colors with the pouring medium no flow troll or any paint or anything it's a lot runnier but you know that might create something beautiful as it all moves over it so let's see see that runniness Ooh. let's go for it get that paint moving can you see that interference coming out and even though I felt like I had stirred that a lot and it had blended in you can still see little dusts of powder in there so come back this way now I'm not so worried if I don't entirely cover the sides uh, So I can touch them up later with something that I think what it is I might do with this one because I know that I can tell I don't know if it'll come across on the screen that gorgeous interference um, I lost a leg somewhere I'm trying to find it Lovely colour combination. Thanks, Emma. That's that means a lot. You read somewhere, can't remember where. Oh, hang on, I got something in the way on my screen. Gel medium. Oh yes, of course. I think that's I was meant to go to spotlight for that. Yes, thank you Mandy. I did look that up too. It wasn't until you said it that I went, oh, oh, well, never mind. <laughs> <clears throat> so for this one, um, I don't think I'll swipe now, but I do think what I'm going to use is the hair pick. So I think that will look really nice. It'll drag some of those colours and that interference through each other and create really nice pattern patterns. So just give it a torch because I can see lots of bubbles. Now let's see about Oh, there you go. I'll bring you down closer for this so you can see. But can you also see the in blue interference that entire shape there is the blue interference because it was on the surface of the black so Ugh. i think i got a little bit excited and <laughs> i'm kind of kicking myself about the gel medium now <laughs> Sure can. Awesome. All right. So let's decide where I'm going to run this through. The entire thing, entire surface, I believe, will be coated in hair pick designs. So just finding a spot and then working out this area here. I'd like to move 
and come off here. So we've kind of gone from one side to the other, but swapping, swapping which end. So let's do it this way. Yeah, this way. Coming through now. Oops, it moved. Don't push so hard. You don't need to push hard, not like I just was. <clears throat> you might just aim and come in here and slide out one of these. Just to fill in, so how did I do that edge? So if I do that here, come over here, you won't see much of that, but lifting up the comb and coming out on one prong. Um, Coming over here, put that in. Bring out. Now this side. There we go. Just crossing off the corners to give it a little bit of extra in that area and this one as well it's a bit blank down there again pushing too hard and here also all right Let's, oh, I got an itch. Hang on. I don't want to end up with half a face full of paint. Not that I've done that before. <laughs> All right. Gel pen, wow. Hey, I had the gel medium on your shopping list and couldn't remember why until you told you. Oh, well, there you go. <laughs> nice. Thank you, Emma. Looks amazing. That blue interference on that bike, it really is pretty. Oh, pretty. Hi, Brenda. How are you going? Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, so really curious to see everything else. I'm thinking about leaving but I'm thinking a balloon in this section here just to see because it's kind of an experiment um, with that pouring medium so I will go to spotlight tomorrow and get a gel medium um, but yeah I think let's try a balloon there so you've got that and then you've got the the line effects the comb did some great effects. Yeah, thanks Brenda, I love using the hair pick. And for those you might not notice, uh, this had extra prongs in it and it was the only one I could get, but um, when I tried it, it was just too busy and the lines were too close together. So I just cut away every other one. And now I think it's a perfect, perfect width. So, all right, what was I getting? A balloon. A balloon. Okay. 
Got a balloon. Give it a stretch. Blow it up. This balloon has a hole in it. It started squirting my face. Same time I was blowing air into it. So let's make sure we tie the knot below the hole, which I think we're all good. So one balloon. Let's give it a, a bit of a high. Great idea, Mina Villegas uses the combs a lot. It does, yeah. It's it's a kind of one of those things where if you can't actually buy what you're thinking of exactly, is there a way you can create it? So just by buying the normal hair picks, breaking them off in between, got the perfect hair pick that I was after. So, yeah. Oh, I'll have to go and have a look at Mina, Mina's videos and see. Does she have a channel? I should have asked that. Okay, we're going to do the balloon here and see how that goes. And then we'll have a close-up before signing off. It's a nice big squash. Warm up the balloon a little bit. it's freshly blown up okay oh sorry I think that might have been wobbling the camera too how did that look no I took it away that's right we can highlight that after it's dried Highlight it, make the flower pop. Alright. So, with that, we'll leave it there. Don't you roll onto my painting. Okay, you stay there. Alright. She sure does. Awesome. Thank you, Mandy. Alrighty, so there we go. I hope you found some inspiration, education, or relaxation during that video. And if you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so. Uh, leave a thumbs up under the video. A comment below would be fantastic. And sharing it with others is muchly appreciated. So I have an announcement for tomorrow. Um, that, yes. This is a very special week for me and you'll find out tomorrow. Um, it's getting closer and closer every day and I'm still yet to announce what it will be. So on that, let's have a close up. How about a tiny kiss in the middle of the flower? Mandy, you're a legend, I swear. Okay, how about I have no glove on one hand. Maybe I should just put one on. Because every time I have all the confidence to touch things without a glove, I can do it, I won't get dirty. What happens? I get filthy. So, what if we, put the last of the interference colors, Ready.
All right. <clears throat> We're going for it. And I'm going to leave you right there just for that too. So. Ah. I'm going to have to do a big one and then see. Because I think I put too much interference. Ooh. Oh, not. Oh, maybe we could do that one. Got a lot of paint on the blend, so I'm going to come back into this spot. Just kind of roll it off. So that is new for me. That is something that I have seen Jilly, Jilly Cube do. So I will add her channel. Um, so you know how me, Veronica from Me Paintings, she did the roll along the very centre of her swipe. Um, and then I got carried away one poor and did rolls over my entire thing that wasn't working out that day. Um, Jilly Cube, she does these smash and my roll, balloon rolls. So, yeah, we'll see how that goes. We'll see how it dries. Sorry I didn't quite get the whole small balloon smash, balloon kiss in the centre, but there we go. All right, so the thing with this is I've got to try and capture it in the light as well. Pretty rolls, yeah. Jilly has it down to a fine art. Oh, she does. Absolutely. I did want to try it, but I wanted to try it with something that I had silicon in. But in the moment, that's what came to mind, so I just did it. Just do it. So they say. All right. So let's have a look here. So I have a close-up now. You're welcome. Ciao for now. There we go, coming down here. I don't know how to... I think it's maybe I need to put the torch on, put the flashlight on or something. No. Okay, so I can't add that now, but I may just need to do a quick video with the um, with the flash on or an extra light. So there we have it. Thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And yeah, if you have to go out anywhere, please take care. And good night to everybody, good day, and be kind, be creative, thank you Mandy, and be fabulous, bye.